Tortilla Day. <laughs> Tonight we are going to be talking about tortillas and how to make them. And yes, I'm in my kitchen. Can you believe that? But I wanted to tell you a little bit about this gorgeous pottery and about tortillas. Uh, oh, and on my big sombrero hat. This is a real sombrero hat that uh, David and I picked up in Mexico quite a few years ago. So it's going to be a fun, fun evening. So let's see who is on this, this gorgeous evening tonight. We have, um, is it the Emmys or the Grammys happening? Hi Alicia and Deborah and Sonia. It's so nice to have you with us this evening. Thanks guys. Oh, nice. Well, and Darlene, hello, hello. So what I have on the table here is some very, very authentic Mexican pottery. My dearest family friends, my mom, one of my mom's best friends from many, many years ago, when I was raised in Hawaii, she lived across the street from her. Her name was Bab Smith, and she was raised in Santa Monica, California. So she would go to uh, Mexico quite often and pick up gorgeous pottery pieces. So over the years, she has collected many of them. Um, she unfortunately has passed away. And my sister got this set, and then my sister was so sweet. She knew how much I loved, loved them, so she uh, gave them to me. And it was so much fun because we used to have Mexican parties all um, every year. We would have one or two huge Mexican parties. Um, Babs would cook up everything, enchiladas, tostadas, tacos, car I mean, just everything. And I'd be shredding cheese for hours and cutting lettuce. And, uh, but she would always use these beautiful, beautiful terracotta serving dishes. Uh, tonight I even made fabulous homemade guacamole. So I know you guys are very surprised. We have uh, white corn tortillas. We have yellow tortillas. And I did a little bit of uh, research on the internet. So, um, do, 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 do. so they say that tortillas are mostly common served in salsa. Well, I like to crumble my tortillas on top of, especially soup, tortilla soup is my favorite. How about you guys, do you like tortilla soup? So I crumble my uh, tortilla soup. I love to dip in salsa and avocado, of course, guacamole. Uh, most tortillas are made from a corn tortilla that has been cut into wedges and then fried, which we're gonna do a little later tonight. I'm kind of surprised and a little nervous I'm actually cooking on live television. Uh, salt, water, vegetable oil, and made of corn. That's how they make the tortilla disc. Uh, and uh, let's see here. In 1940, tortillas were first made, uh, produced in Los Angeles, and it was kind of by accident. Re Rebecca Webb Carnaza used, um, they would take the leftovers of their batters and, and created these triangle tortillas just by accident. So I think that's fantastic. Her and her husband started a deli in Los Angeles and a tortilla factory. So that was back in the 1940s. So who loves tortilla? What is, what is your favorite? Let's, let's talk about, do you like white or do you like corn? Who likes what? Hi Barb, love the dishes, thank you. Marcy, hello from Michigan. Hi Jackie and Janice. Hi Bev and Joanne. Hi Maria, this is so nice. Oh, thank you Maria. One day you can use this for a, a cooking party at your house, girly girl. <laughs> So I also um, started collecting dishes while I was in uh, Mexico and I collect the blue and white. So I've pulled down a few of my blue and white dishes that I have. I even have one of our um, cacti plants 
in a beautiful piece that's probably 10 years old but um, they're all very uniquely done no one is the same I hand carry them uh, these are all from La Paz so I have a cute little store that I love and when we go I usually pick up two or three pieces it's hard to come home because I don't want to break them uh, especially the bigger pieces but uh, they make them really really nice and I love that they're being made you know quote unquote by hand so let shall we see how we are doing with the the oil so I know this is kind of funny and what am I doing cooking <laughs> I'm not too sure but I thought it would be fun to try I have here the extinguisher so <laughs> just in case we need it <laughs> I have a um, mission yellow corn tortillas here and I also have mission white okay so I, I dried them out a little bit and then I just cut them in triangles be careful very sharp knife and some triangles look prettier than others but it's all about the taste okay so we have fabulous triangles and now you have to be very careful because your oil is going to be very very hot so I don't want you to hurt yourself okay <laughs> all right let's see here let's try one I have a very long prong I'm gonna see how hot it is here <laughs> oh perfect I could not have done that better if I tried Does that look fun, everyone? Oh, and we're gonna flip them over just a tad. I don't wanna put too many in. Thank you to Christine and my mom for helping me figure out how to do this today. Oh, they smell really good. Carrie, it's nice that you make these for yourself and care. Awesome. Has everybody made torti homemade tortillas before? Not tort tortilla chips, I should say. I like the yellow ones. Woo! Okay, so let's get those frying. I'm very brave. <laughs> so David is uh, doing well. Today is day three and you know pain. Pain is, the trick is managing it. So we will say hello to him in a, in a few minutes. So I have no clue how long you fry these. I think they're just until they get a nice crispy golden brown but I, I just keep flipping them. Ooh, they smell good. And then I have a, um, a fat, another beautiful terracotta pot to put those in when they're all done. I'm going to put paper towel, and I just have some other paper towels easy on a cooking sheet so we can catch as many, as, as many of the oil, you know, catch the oil. Now, if David was here, I'd be asking him for the little scooper. Hold on a sec. Don't look in my drawers. <laughs> I don't see the scooper. Hey! <laughs> I had like a little net or something. I'll have... So now the oil isn't as hot, of course, because I've been putting chips in here. Oh, they're starting to get crispy. 
Thank you, Linda, for saying I look cute. Aw, you're so kind. Corn fry better than flour. Good to know, Christine. I'm learning. I've never done this before. Fran says that um, I'm brave, and I agree. Remember, you don't want it hot, but you guys know this. You guys are all cooks, so. Hi, Joanne. Okay. I see some very crispy chips. Oh, this is so exciting. I've never done this before. I'm so into this. Okay, so now, maybe if I take something like this and scoop it out so the oil... Ooh. I hope David's in the mood to, to have a lot of chips because I cut quite a few here. And I'm probably using all the wrong utensils, but it's okay. Oops. Wow, these are perfect. There's a nice golden color. They're crispy. They're sizzling. They're very hot. I'm a little pinky out like I'm going to have tea. <laughs> and my hand is shaking. That's so funny because they're hot. I don't want to get oil. Okay, for all my cooks, am I doing all right? Woo! Okay. Oh, all right. So, I'm going to blot them, I think, just gently. Oh, don't those look good? I'm going to put salt. Get the salt, salt, salt. Salt it up. I put mostly corn tortillas here. Okay, I think I'm gonna put the napkin in so if there's any more grease we can soak up. It takes away from the beautiful bowl, but nobody wants a soggy chip. Let's see here. Ah, uh, those look pretty good, huh, ladies? My first ever made tortilla chips, woohoo! Woohoo, I'm very excited. And we have a couple sauces. So, I have never tasted guacamole salsa, but I was at the grocery store and you guys would have laughed at me. I think I've asked, I asked 10 people. Everybody was going for different things. And I'm like, oh, what are you gonna do with that? Oh, what are you gonna do with that? Um, and four people, while I was standing in front of the salsa, grab what they call guacamole salsa. Um, and I was like, okay, let me try that. So, oh, look at how nice and golden brown these are. It's green like guacamole. It smells like guacamole. That's really good. Has a good kick, Woohoo! a very good kick. Oh my gosh, these are so good. Oh, honey, wait till you try these. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that snap. Wow. Wow. I guess I can quit my day job and just be making tortilla, tortilla chips. Wow, that is good. Okay, so let's try a little bit more. Mmm. Really, really good. But my favorite, of course, I actually made this, I make a pretty mean guacamole dip. So this is fresh guacamole, some cilantro, some onions, um, lime, salt, a little seasoned salt, a little garlic salt. So I love guacamole. Who loves guacamole? Give me thumbs up. Lots of love on the guacamole. Okay, let's try this. Mmm. Heaven. Oh, oh my God. Absolutely heaven. That is fantastic. Very, very yummy. Oh, mm -mm -mm. Now this salsa um, is a peach salsa. That's David's favorite. So let's get a little spoon out. So you can see it's it's got nice 
fun chunks. There's the peaches. Doesn't that look yummy? So, and then David likes uh, sour cream on his, so I always have sour cream. Gala cream. Okay, so let's try. Uh, let's see here, how do we do this here? Put a little sour cream <laughs> and some peach salsa. There we go. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. I don't know, guys. The two, the three, well, this is number one, would be the guacamole. Most definitely. Number two, oh, it's a tie. For me, I think I'll go with the salsa, the peach salsa with a little bit of sour cream. Hello. And then my, that would be my new third favorite, which would be the uh, guacamole salsa. But if I'm gonna have real guacamole, that's always gonna win. Oh my gosh, that was so good. So truly a difference between homemade and store-bought. But it's okay. I, I think um, I think I'll always make homemade ones. They're much more crispier and they're fresh. Um, and then you can do different seasonings. I would imagine you could maybe put a, a, a little Mexican spice to give it a, you know, a pop, some jalapenos, anything you want to do with these. Oh, and these would be great as nacho chips oh, because they're so crispy, crispy. They would hold all of the yummy stuff that goes on top of nachos. They wouldn't break as much. Can you believe that if you could close your eyes and envision the hamburger, the steak, and the sour cream, and oh my goodness, the melted cheese. These would just be decadent. Maybe we'll do a show about nachos. So, this is my National Tortilla Day. I hope you guys have really enjoyed yourself. I know we have some prizes to give away. So let me go get this very special, special box. Hold on there. We have our special box. So let's see who's our winner. What are we giving away tonight? I have, uh, it is a set. It is a pair of earrings. And this necklace. And it is, there you go. It will come just like this in a very pretty bag, little bag in a box. So it's kind of got, um, you know, a little crowns on it. But if you're not a queen, it's okay, you can wear it. So we're gonna give, we're gonna give those away. Plus we have our gift certificate. Oops, I'm getting caught. And today I'm channeling my pink adders because I think I love my pink adders and I, my mom got me this cute little dress um, in Mexico, oh my gosh, probably 10 or 12 years ago. And um, I know Emily, she, she's worn it. A few of my friends have worn it, but I just had to bring it back out. I'm channeling my mom and I'm channeling my pink adders. So hello to you beautiful ladies out there. Okay, the first prize is, drum roll, dance, 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 Sheila Broad, you are the winner. You are the first winner. Congratulations, yay! Congratulations, Sheila. Okay, the second, Winner, Queen Tutu, aren't you proud of me? I didn't burn the house down. <laughs> All right, Anita, Anita, you are a winner. Perfect. Yes, the gas is still on. Thank you for reminding me. That's gonna be some hot, very hot, hot oil. Who told me the gas was still on? Someone told me. Oh, did I turn off the burner for Christine? <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Okay. 
And Kitty, yes, thank you for reminding me. Oh my gosh, you guys make me laugh at myself. Kathleen Phillips, you are a winner. I'm so excited. Okay, so what I did is I combined it, um, my list here, and I checked everybody off. And let's do the happy dance. Woo, we're going to do the happy dance. Now, the, the winner for the most light, uh, excuse me, liked, comment, and shared tonight. Please, everyone, continue to do that. I am so, so happy with what we've been doing. It is, always makes me smile. I love your comments. I read every single one. I try to like every single one. Um, I try to comment too, so please continue to do that. In the mornings, I wake up, and that's what I read, and it starts my day. It, always smiling and I hope you guys know how much I appreciate you because it's, it's sometimes so overwhelming. The love is just amazing. So thank you so much. Okay, Barbara Wright, you are the winner for commenting, liking, and sharing our videos. Yay! Okay, now we have the big $50 prize to give away and do a little do a little dance i wish you guys were here to eat we have to do a little party i can't wait to see tutu and the girls from homa uh, louisiana at the end of next month at the sisterhood i'm so excited yay oh jacqueline you are the for the $50 gift certificate. Girlfriend, happy, happy shopping. I'll put that there. So ladies, don't forget, tonight is the last night. You have a few more hours to go until uh, midnight California time to shop at Royal Splendor to get that $5 off. The code is a dollar sign, a five, a two, a one, and a nine. So dollar sign five two one nine to get five dollars off twenty-five dollar or more order. And we really appreciate it. And um, happy shopping. You can find this cute light up halo. Came back in. It's so much fun. It's battery operated. It would look great on a uh, on a hat or just on your head and you just switch it off Oop. or switch it on oh and I have oh my gosh I have to show you if you're wondering who's doing camera tonight it's our friend Peter Peter is a professional cameraman so thank you Peter for coming tonight we have these beautiful hats that are brand new this is a starburst Baseball hat for $16.99. It's not gorgeous. And if you're getting ready for uh, Homa and also 4th of July, we have Miss Liberty and she's at $14.99. So brand new baseball hats that just arrived literally a couple days ago. So let's let's see how Mr. David is. Let's see if he's available. Honey, come on guys. And there he is, sleeping. Oh, bless his heart. So, David's doing well. He's got his chef hat on, he's so cute. He thanks everyone very much for all the fabulous and most kind and sweetest comments on Facebook, on my post that has been wonderful for him. Um, it was a pretty tough surgery on his shoulder. He'll be out of commission for quite a few weeks, but I know he'll be feeling so much better once this is healed and he can uh, get back on the road and we can start setting up uh, the Royal Splendor store at convention. So we're really looking forward to doing that. So for Sunday, National Tortilla Day, I hope you've had a fabulous time. I've enjoyed cooking for you. I don't know how often you'll see that. 
and I didn't burn down the house. So lots of love to you all and I will see you next Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Aloha!